Good day, everybody. David Dilling from MarkSquare with today's quick how-to. How to pre-press layout. How can we get a DTP or desktop publishing layout like Adobe InDesign, Quark Express, Photoshop, or in this case, this Adobe Illustrator file, ready for pre-press? Now we're going to cruise over to inked.com. And as you can see on this particular web page, which I'll link to, on Ink, they give a full idea on how to pre-press a layout how to get a layout ready for pre-press whether it's InDesign, Quark Express, Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop doesn't really matter the same basic principles apply first you'll see a quick overview of the well as they say four steps to getting a file pre-press ready the four steps are manually checking and adjusting your layout and graphics files in Adobe, Quark, Microsoft type layout applications. Step two is to pre-flight your file, preferably with a tool that is standalone such as Marksware's Flight Check, which will check all major layout types in DTP or desktop publishing. The second step on how to pre-press a layout is to collect your job, to package all used elements, fonts, images, graphics, colors, previews, you know, you name it, required plugins, extensions, to package all the material from your Photoshop layout, your Illustrator artwork, your Adobe InDesign layout, your Quark Express desktop publishing layout, etc. And lastly, creating a preview PDF file. Now, step one, the actually the manual pre-flight process of how to pre-press a layout is essentially largely covered in the next step called pre-flight. However, not 100%. There are many items which cannot be handled in traditional pre-flight. For instance, extend bleed artwork to bleed lines, to trash unused color swatches, making sure your fonts are all linked. Make sure all your fonts are active and collectible that can be packaged. These are all items which you'll need to do manually one way or another or be sure that you've done them. So it is good to manually double check everything. Just like in an airplane, you would do the so-called pre-flight check, which is step two. As you'll see, one of the recommended tools is Marksware's Flight Check, which is a standalone tool which will quickly and easily pre-flight your entire layout, whether Adobe Illustrator, even Adobe Photoshop.psd files, and of course InDesign, Quark, and other major DTP or desktop publishing file formats. As they mentioned, the typical errors and how to fix them are link graphics or images are RGB. Depending on your RIP, you may need to have your images in CMYK only. Missing fonts, or in the PDF world, non-embedded fonts. And last but not least, and the final step is packaging your file, actually not the final step, that's the second to last step, collecting or packaging all your fonts and images into one file. Marksware's Flight Check offers that as well. It will allow you to collect all needed elements into one folder, even compressing it, so you can pass it on to the pre-press department. That makes how to pre-press layout very easy. Last but not least is creating a PDF preview if you're going to send a native file to the printer or pre-press department as well. If the layout is going to be needed as a PDF, a print PDF, the final step will then be to create that print PDF. How to get your layout ready for pre-press. One of the most important processes in the entire process is pre-flighting. Pre-flighting tools which can not only pre-flight but also package your jobs. And even the manual part in the beginning can be largely handled by an electronic pre-flight tool like Marksware's Flight Check. As we saw in the beginning, this chart about pre-flighting, it's very important to understand this principle. To catch and find and fix a small problem, which seems small in design, for instance, a font which is missing or a image which is RGB or low resolution, to find such a problem at the design stage might only cost 10 pounds or 8 euros or seven dollars or something in that range and cost only a few minutes to fix it for the designer but if the designer passes that problem down to the layout artist and the layout artist passes it down to pre-press and pre-press passes that down 
into the plate and into the final press, to the final printed piece, or to the final outputted piece, you could be talking about going from 10 pounds or 8 euros or 7 dollars wasted to thousands of pounds, euros, or dollars wasted. This is the all-important process of pre-flight in pre-press. If you'd like to try Flight Check for yourself, cruise over to markswear.com and check it out today. There's a free demo version, a 30-day full working free version for you to use and pre-flight and package your files with Markswear's Flight Check. Thank you very much. This is David Dilling from Markswear, signing off. Yeah, 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 yeah.